everyone. In this video, I want to share with you um, how dollar cost averaging works okay, if you invest in a stock market. So instead of investing one lump sum into the stock market, into one stock, okay, this is an example of how you can break out your money into a very disciplined and regular investment uh, horizon and also the invested amount. Say for example, if you are able to save $2,000 every month, okay, you put this $2,000 into a separate bank account and this shall be the amount that you're willing to risk in your investment. Okay, so by losing this amount in the stock market, it's not going to affect your financial life. You still go on. Okay, you pay your mortgage, you pay your, your car, your house, and, and whatnot, your expenses. Okay, your lifestyle isn't affected. Okay, everybody knows that you cannot grow rich by saving your money. You can only grow rich by doing investments. So stock investment is one of the vehicles to do this. Now, so after you save 2000 per month, so every three months, you'll be able to put aside 6000 Okay, 6,000. So this is what the, my table is showing. You invest 6,000 every quarter for the next one, two, three, three years. Okay, and this is a different share price. Okay, the share price starts with 80 cents and then the next quarter go up to 90 cents, 130 and so on. A peak of 230 before it tumbles down to as low as one pen. A correction of about 50%. Okay, and this is the quantity that you will be able to buy if you invest if you invest 6,000 into the share at a different share price okay, through the quarters, this is your cumulative invested amount, your principal. Okay, and this is the quantity, accumulated quantity. So you start with 7,500 and then you, know, you add another 6,006 into it. So you got 14,000. So 14,000, you buy 4,600, you got 18,000. Then you buy another 3,005, you got 22,000 and so on. Okay, so continue to invest in the stock market until 2021, 2021, quarter four. Okay, and this is your portfolio uh, value. Okay, as the quarter goes on, the share price goes up and down. So this is your portfolio value. Now pay attention to this uh, concept over here. If you're able to buy the share price at a lower price, okay, your 6,000 is going to give you more units. Okay, more units. If you are buying at a higher share price, your 6,000 is going to get you lower number of units, okay? But the key thing here is you continue to stay invested, okay? You continue to stay invested so that through the different quarters, you will get a good mix of price. Sometimes when the company uh, economy is not doing well, the share price will go down, okay? But when it recovers, you are right there. You don't need to even uh, wait for the share price from 110 to recover all the way to 230 before you start to make money. As you can see from 110, when it grows to 140, okay, your account, your portfolio is still up by 5,000 out of 60,000 invested. That is as close to 10% already. If the share price continues to improve and go up to as high as 180, Okay, you are making 96,000 from 72,000. That is more than 20% gain. Okay, more than 20% gain. And what I want to show you more will be the times when you are down. Okay, you bought at 230 at a high with 6,000. So continue to buy. Share price collapse. Okay, 145, 110. Okay, so your cumulative invested principal will be 48,000 and your portfolio is only worth 40,000. That is uh, down by about 10%. Okay. And then the following quarter, okay, you invested even more money, 54,000 into the stocks. Okay. By buying at 120. Remember, when you buy at 120 with the same 6,000, you're going to buy more units. Okay. And your portfolio, okay, is worth 50,000. Still down. Okay. Still down. Because you put in 54,000, your portfolio is only worth 50,000. But as the share price improves, 140, okay, your cumulative invested amount is 60,000, but your portfolio has grown to 65,000. Okay, 65,000. So this is the example of how dollar cost averaging can help you uh, make your investments successful in the stock market. Now, the more advanced uh, knowledge you want to get out of this will be 
how you should diversify your stock investment into the different stocks instead of banging onto just one stock like this. Okay, what happens if this stock never recovers? That is the problem of many people, right? So one quick tip that I can share with you is if you want to go into investment for the long haul, stock selection is very important. Okay, now the simplest of rule will be the stock must have a very, very, very strong balance sheet so that it can withstand the tough times. Very, very strong balance sheet. And the best is it has got a very consistent cash flow. Granted, in a bear market situation, cash flow may be affected. Okay, may be affected. But after the market recover, these are the companies that will be in the best position to take advantage of the rebound and goes up. Okay, so the other clue that you can look out for will be um, shareholder insider buybacks. Okay, did the company buy back share? Did the director buy back the share of the company when the share price is low? Okay, that is also one clue that you can look out for. So these are uh, some characteristic of the companies that you want to pick up the share and you know that this company is going to continue to do well because the insider showed a very strong foundation by buying back their share when the share price is very low. So these are some of the characteristics that you have to look out for. Okay, so this table once again show you very quickly how you break up your investment into a plan. Okay, a three-year plan. You can see that you will be able to make money in the stock market. Okay, so with that, uh, I will end today's video and I hope to see you in the next video. If um, you like what we are sharing with you on the video so far, please feel free to share or like our video and uh, let your friends know about us, Chat Nexus, so that we can continue to uh, inspire you and also give you more trading ideas and also a portfolio strategy on how you can grow your money in the stock market. Right, thank you very much.